CataractCoach.com. First year in practice, cataract surgery, phaco flip and chop technique. We have an anonymous surgeon here in the USA who's showing us a video of a cataract surgery done in the first year of practice. So there's the side port incision being made. We're showing the whole video at two times speed so we can get through the whole thing. Some anesthetic being put in the eye. There we go. And let's see what's next. Maybe more anesthetic going in the eye. Okay, we'll take it. Now there are little color fluctuations here due to the recording. So don't worry about that. Here comes the dispersive viscoelastic. That looks like a good fill. Normal pressure. Let's see the important incision. Oh, a diamond keratome. And looks pretty good. Looks pretty reasonable. Good tunnel length, maybe a little on the short side. And now a cystotome. Starting that capsular rexus here. And let's see what we can achieve here. Oh, I like the forceps that are marked off like mine. Two and a half and five millimeters, so getting a good idea right there. And let's see how this goes. Nice pivoting technique. Looks great coming around. Good pivoting. Pivoting in the incision means you keep the viscoelastic in, makes the capsorexis easier to perform. So a little on the generous side maybe. We'll see at the end here. And that looks pretty good. Nice round rex, we'll take it. So the technique here, the surgeon said, is gonna be a phaco flip and chop. So using hydrodissection or prolapse the nucleus out of the capsule bag partially, and then chopping it. So let's see, here's a specialized cannula. Looks like some sort of uh, maybe chain cannula from injecting from the side. There's one side and a little bit of fluid wave. Here's the other side. Oh, there's the nucleus, came right up. Now rotating it a little bit, so there's the nucleus here. Let's see, are you gonna recoat with the viscoelastic? Yes, a little bit centrally, that's important because we lost some during the hydrodissection. And let's see, adjusting the phaco tip and phaco sleeve. And let's see the chopper. So chopper going in the eye. Not sure what model or design. Oh, it has that bulbous tip again. Come on, people, upgrade, avoid that bulbous tip. That's just like using a, a butter knife to cut food. And there's the split, and it goes partially through, but not fully. And so there was no good purpose. You didn't have good purchasing or holding of the nucleus with the probe. And so the chopper was unable to really split the nucleus into two halves. So there's partial split, and the piece comes up. So we'll give you a partial, but we, I would like to have seen a nice full chop. Let's see if we can get one now. There's the remaining nucleus. Chopper going around. And let's hope we're, hopefully we're operating at the iris plane and not too close to the coronal endothelium. That looks pretty good. And this is a lens with a very moderate degree of nuclear density, not too dense at all, relatively soft. And then the last bit's coming here towards the tip. You know, the mark for me, this is a pretty fast surgery. Five minutes at twice speed, so it's about a 10 minute surgery, but the mark for me for excellence is not speed of the surgery, it's how much control the surgeon has. And you can see that especially during nucleus removal. And this was pretty good control. But again, I'd like to have seen next time a better chop right off the bat and use a different chopper. Use a chopper without that bulbous tip. Now let's see cortex removal here with coaxial. That's nice and efficient. Cleaning up very nicely. And again, this is another video that was recorded via a cell phone or mobile phone attached to the ocular of the assistant scope. And that's a very, a very good technique. If you don't have a built-in high quality video recorder, your phone for sure has an HD video camera built in. In fact, maybe even a 4K camera. There we go. Capsule bag is nice and clean. Here comes more viscoelastic, probably cohesive one, filling up the bag. Rexus looks pretty nice. And let's see what we got here for the lens. Lens is going inside the eye. Looks like a three-piece silicone lens. That looks good. Goes right in the bag with just the injector. That went beautifully. Remember, the silicone lenses unfold a lot faster, a lot easier than the acrylic lenses. So cleaning out the viscoelastic, I like that. Good thorough technique here. And let's hydrate the incision. Incision looks pretty good. That's a very nice technique. So I like the surgery. Very nice. I think uh, my only suggestion is a little bit more uh, control on that rexus and get a better chop right off the bat. 
I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself what's the name of those forceps.